yo, what is going on you guys, Gilson187 here, and what we have today for you all on Tasty's channel is a double nuclear with the Dark Matter Camo BRM on the map Infection, you guys. This gameplay is like an insane gameplay, thinking about it all, who uses the BRM, who gets a double nuclear with the BRM, and also... I don't really see too many gameplays on the map infections, so all in all this gameplay is an insane gameplay And I honestly just want to say congratulations to tasty because honestly lately He's just been dropping insane gameplays which he's just been growing so much off of YouTube And he's almost at 5k subscribers now like that's insane like he just hit 4k now He's about to hit 5,000 subscribers, which is just an insane like milestone to be honest with you now I am almost at 4,000 subscribers So if you guys could help me out a little bit juice me up a little bit that'd be much appreciated me and tasty are just been like honestly been growing very much lately like i've gained like a thousand subscribers in the past week and i think the same goes to him like i think he's almost gained over a thousand in the past like couple weeks and stuff since he's been joining doom he's been growing like a lot lately just from like playing with like doom members and stuff like that but guys let's get off that topic um let's talk about something that's been a pretty hot topic as far as black ops 3 and stuff like that because recently if you guys did not know or i know you guys already all do know the dlc weapons have dropped in black ops 3 and there's a lot of new DLC weapons and a lot of obviously new people are getting those DLC weapons and stuff like that and I actually ran a poll on Twitter saying is Black Ops 3 a pay to win game now I know this is like a really like a big topic and a lot of people do talk about this but I honestly just honestly want to like just talk about it myself and give you guys my full opinion because if you guys did not know I actually have every single DLC weapon besides the butterfly knife and also the Marshall 16 so I have used almost like every DLC weapon and I can honestly tell you guys from personal experience so to be completely honest with you all I honestly do not think Black Ops 3 is a pay to win game now I know they put in some weapons that could be like a game changer type weapons like the MX Grand that is like a pretty big weapon but other than that besides like the Marshall 16 and the MX Grand there's really no other weapon that could stand out like if someone wants to run around with the sword or the crowbar or the wrench or the butterfly knife those are all kind of cosmetic kind of like looking things that kind of just everyone wants to like use them just for the simple fact of like, like it's a wrench it's a butterfly knife like they're cool unique weapons and they're just really cosmetic weapons now, I feel like a lot of people were, like, really complaining a lot when they noticed the fact that you could get, like, the Marshall 16, the MX Grand, and stuff like that throughout the supply drops just because those are weapons that could obviously change the game dramatically. Now, to be completely honest, you guys, who runs around with the Marshall 16 knowing they're going to go rape people? Like, you don't really do that. Like, if you're honestly not a pub stomper and you get the Marshall 16, it might be, like, a pretty cool secondary to run with. But, like, no one's just going to physically just run around with the Marshall 16 pistol and just going in and stuff like that unless you, like, literally just got the weapon and you want to maybe like try it out or something like that also the same goes with the mx grand like that weapon is very overpowered like i dropped a 61 flawless gun streak with that just the other day so the mx grand is definitely a game changing type weapon but i wouldn't really say black ops 3 is a pay to win game just because there's really one one weapon that could really change the game dramatically like the mx grand is such a good weapon it's a two shot and honestly if you put suppressor on it it's still a two shot if you guys could compare it to like any other weapons like mw3 mk14 you could almost compare it to it's a very good weapon. It can kill from really like far distance stuff like that. But to be completely honest, yes, it's a good weapon. Yes, it can change the game. But just because one simple weapon is in the game that can really change it, does that really mean that Black Ops 3 is a pay-to-win game? Right now, I'll say no. But honestly, my true opinion now, if they like some way decide to bring some more weapons, which obviously they probably will be doing that, there's probably gonna be more like cosmetics and stuff coming down the road, and also like more weapon stuff. But my true like overall thoughts is right now, it's not a pay-to-win. But honestly, if they do keep going with this and like bring weapons that can really change the game like every single DLC drop I would say Black Ops 3 would definitely be a pay to win game because obviously if you guys can drop like $300, $400 in supply drops your chances of getting something like decent is very high so guys that is honestly going to be my commentary for today if you guys could comment down below I think everyone should have an opinion on this because everyone has opened up a supply drop and everyone has like honestly played Black Ops 3 that's watching this video so guys please comment down below do you guys think Black Ops 3 is a pay to win game my personal opinion once again I would say no, but honestly, if they keep going with it, I would probably say yes. But guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did all enjoy, and yeah, peace out, guys.